this series of videos, you are going to learn how to read structured drawing. Have you ever been passing by a tall building and you really wonder how these structures are interpreted from blueprints on paper to a physical building? In this playlist of videos, I clearly show you how to read or interpret structured drawings in a step-by-step -step guide and how each structure element looks like physically on the ground. For all users, this step-by-step -step guide is simple and easy to understand and by the end of these videos, you'll be able to easily read every kind of structured drawing of any size clearly so be sure to watch these videos till the end. Let's first clearly understand what a structured drawing means. So this is a structured drawing. It is a construction plan or a collection of two-dimensional drawings or blueprints that show what will be constructed and how it will look like after the construction project is completed. It contains information in form of dimensions, symbols, abbreviations, line types, the foundation, beams, slabs, columns, the lift shear wall, the retaining wall among others. When a structured drawing is handed over to you, first have a look at these five elements. The first element is the title block. The title block contains critical information about the drawing, usually located on the bottom border of the drawing or the right hand side. For example, ours here is located on the right hand side and generally includes the following information. The title block will contain the client's name and here we are having our client as Pelon Royal Limited the name of the civil slash structure engineer or group of engineers as Ian Construction, the project name as the Lia Village Hotel, drawing description. Each page will have a different drawing description. For example, for this particular page, this shows that here is the foundation layout, here as pad details, here as second floor structure layout, here as lift shaft wall, among others. Drawing number, drawing size and scale details. The second element you must clearly understand is the orientation of the building. The purpose of the orientation is to clearly show you the direction in which the building will be facing so as to perform actual construction tasks and correct positioning. You will be able to set out the building facing the eastern direction or the western direction or the northern direction with the help of the orientation on the blueprint. You follow the true north. For example, for this project, that we did here. This was block A, positioned exactly here. This is block B and this is the bridge that provides easy access between block A and block B and that's how we exactly did it on ground. This is block A, this is block B and this is the bridge that provides access between block A and block B. The third element are general notes. Usually, these are guidelines that apply to the entire construction project and to be specific, they are always masonry notes. For example, you can see here that plinth walls are to be constructed in solid concrete blocks with 7.2 megapascals compressive strength complying to the bridge standards 5628. It might be a bit hard to know the compressive strength of these blocks when you don't have the compression testing machine but what we used to do, we used to measure these blocks directly to ensure that each of these blocks was 30 kilograms on the weighing scale. General notes also show the concrete grade, steel grade, concrete covers or spacer blocks at different stages. For example, this detail is that we are supposed to use 50 millimeters spacer blocks in the foundation 40 millimeters for the columns and 25 millimeters for beams and slabs. The fourth element are the keynotes. These simplify notations in the blueprints. For example, when you find a symbol like this one, this indicates the section number and this indicates the sheet number. So this is section number 34, sheet number 121 and sheet 114. A section simply reveals the interior features as an imagery cutting plane through a part whereas the top view displays what is seen from above. A pad or footing will look like this in sectional view, whereas it will look like this in top view. This is a sectional view of a beam, and this is the top view of a beam. This is the sectional view of columns, and this is the top view of columns. This is the section for stairs, and this is the top view for stairs, among others. This means the top beam level at this level here, this means the structure slab level, this is a structure slab level, and this one is also a structure slab level. This means that there is a slope here, then this symbol means that this area is on the same level. This indicates the upper slab face, and this indicates the lower slab face. For example here, this is the upper slab face, and this is the lower slab face. 
The fifth element is understanding grid lines. Grid lines guide you when setting out a building. Let's watch this video about how to clearly understand grid lines in a structured drawing and how to set out a building in this separate video. Watch this video here.